welcome back to my cosy corner of the internet. Here, I select a tarot deck each week from my extensive collection to elucidate the ethers and scry the shifting celestial tides on behalf of the collective. These readings are not aimed at any particular person and you are meant to find them at the time their guidance is most relevant to you. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. My musings are intended to inspire, uplift and guide you on your healing journey. If you like what you find here, please share this page with your friends. One good deed deserves another, and because your engagement really helps me out, if you like, share or comment today, I hope and intend that you will be blessed with bountiful beneficence this week. I've chosen the Zilich Tarot for our mystical meanderings today. This deck is based on the Thoth system and has beautiful watercolour images that create a dreamy and magical world of traditional tarot archetypes. I'm sure it will be a powerful translator of the Numinous Forest. So sit back. Relax your shoulders, take a sip of chamomile tea, exhale deeply, and let's explore. The dominant energetic influence we can tap into over the coming week for the purpose of progressing the spiritual journey and pursuing the path to wholeness is reflected in the Four of Cups. This card cautions us about missing out on the full picture this week. There are blessings to be had, healing to be progressed and abundance to manifest. But if you have a tendency to focus on the glass half empty, you may miss the openings the universe intends for you this week. Take the time to pause and look around yourself. Appreciate the things you love and identify the things that bring you joy. Meditation opens the mind to the magic and mystery that underpins the whole of creation. If you can't see the magic, allow yourself to feel it. The second card identifies the potential opposition we may face in pursuit of the promises of the first card. And this week, this comes in the form of justice. This is in no way a negative card, but in this position, we're dealing with the shadowed aspect of the archetype. The presence of justice reminds us not to become hyper fixated on things. It reminds us that being too rigid in our routines and trying to micromanage ourselves and our lives can block us from aligning with the expansive excellence of our eternal nature. Being open to opportunities for growth means keeping an open mind and an open heart this week. And now we turn to the daily cards for the week ahead. These cards depict and define the archetypal energetic influences we can harness to optimise our personal power and increase our inspiration in the coming days. Monday Six of Wands. Success in all areas is accessible today. It's time to audaciously step up and take centre stage. Your positivity is contagious. Staying humble allows you to share your smile with those around you. 
blessings abound and rebound when you lead by example. The universe reminds you that you are continuously supported and cherished by divine forces. Affirm. Blessings abound and success surrounds me. Tuesday, Three of Pentacles. Collaboration is key to your prosperity and progress today. Seek advice and support from wise allies and give yourself an advantage. Learning from experience, including the experience of others, can hasten your healing journey. The universe reminds you that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Affirm. My sacred soul is a source of infinite wisdom. Wednesday, Princess of Wands. Whatever you do today, make it fun. Frivolity and pleasure seeking can allow expression of your majestic and magical soul. Dance your way forward by picking your soundtrack carefully. You have the power to lift your mood. The universe reminds you that to follow your dreams, you need to define them. Affirm. Everything is good and great and brilliant and beautiful. Thursday, Seven of Swords. Life is what happens to you when you're busy making other plans. Confound your own expectations by doing things you didn't plan to do today. Thinking outside the box brings brilliance and bounty to within your grasp. The universe reminds you that freedom from the limitation of anticipation is true freedom. Affirm. Through uniqueness and magic, I shine and align. Friday. Temperance. Refine your spirit by setting aside some sacred space for contemplation, relaxation and healing. Disconnecting yourself from social demands and spending time with yourself is essential for your spiritual maintenance. Today, stop doing things long enough to just be yourself. The universe reminds you that peace and patience are qualities of your authentic spiritual self. Affirm. My soul is a source of tranquility and triumph. Saturday, Prince of Wands. Explore your creativity by recognising yourself as the canvas. What will you make of yourself today? Choose your colours with care and don't let others water them down or dull your brilliance. Express your truth in ways that resonate with your individuality. The universe reminds you that inspiration comes from your soul. Affirm. I awaken to my sacred splendour. I shine. I shine, I shine. 
Sunday, Three of Cups. Appreciate the little things and celebrate the big ones today. When you recognise the richness of your life, your life replenishes and refreshes your soul. Express gratitude for the abundance and blessings that fill your world. The universe reminds you that your reality is defined by your mind. Affirm. Abundance flows and blessings grow. Always and in all ways. I prosper. This concludes our mystical musings for the week ahead. I hope you've enjoyed your time with me today and that you'll come back again soon. Have a beautiful week. I wish you peace, prosperity and progress in all you do. With blessings. <laughs>